this morning, President Bush will announce the withdrawal of some troops from Iraq and the deployment of others to Afghanistan. CBS News Pentagon correspondent David Martin has details this morning. David, good morning. Good morning, Russ. You know, Iraq has dominated the uh, Bush presidency, and today uh, President Bush will announce what could well be his last major decision of the war. Acting on recommendations made by Defense Secretary Gates, the president will announce the withdrawal of 8,000 troops from Iraq by next February. A battalion of 1,500 Marines will come out of western Iraq in November, and an army brigade of 3,500 soldiers will be withdrawn in February, along with 3,400 support troops. That will bring overall troop strength down to 136,000. The president will say the withdrawals are possible because of the dramatic reductions in violence, now down to the lowest level since the spring of 2004. But even those modest withdrawals are more than the commander in Iraq, General David Petraeus, originally wanted. He recommended no further reductions until June of next year. But he was overruled because of the pressing need to free up more troops for Afghanistan. The president will announce he is sending 5,000 more combat troops to Afghanistan, a Marine battalion in November, and an Army combat brigade next January. But that is only a fraction of what the commander there says he needs. President Bush will say it may be possible to withdraw more troops in the first half of 2009, but that will be a decision for the next president. Russ? David Martin at the Pentagon. Thank you very much.